Hello guys, how are you doing? I'm Amarish. Today I'm going to show you how you can set up Google Meet video conferencing on your computer. So all you have to do is you have to go to a website uh, meet.google.com as shown over here and just proceed. When you proceed, there are some things that you have to note down and uh, I hope this video will help you out to find out uh, so continue watching uh, until the end and see uh, how you can set up a very good conference call. Okay, let's see how you can set up uh, Google Meet on your computer. So you have to come to this address meet.google.com and you will end up in this page. From this page, you can see uh, soon Google Meet will be available for free. So. If you haven't logged into your email address, you will see this message. Okay, so if you want to actually host a meeting, all you have to do is you have to go and sign in. Uh, in the sign in, just type your email address and your password to log into your email account. So for this, I created a new email for my videos. So I'm just going to use that email to log in. Uh, so once you have logged in click on next so you will come to this window This is the window that I said if you have not logged in you won't see this window So once you logged in you will be able to see this page and over here when you want to start a meeting When you want to uh, want to host a meeting all you have to do is click on start a meeting so once you click on start a meeting what happens is it comes to a preparation window where you can see all the settings like your browser will ask for permission to connect your mic you just click allow and also it asks, will ask to uh, permission to connect your camera so you have to click allow for this also so once everything is done over here in this area you can see your face uh, or your preview or your back or your video so whatever it is captured from the webcam it will show over here so at the moment i couldn't show anything for you because my video camera is currently recording this screen so that it is not working so actually when you turn on your camera uh, it will show your screen over here so if you want to turn off you can click on turn off and if you want to uh, turn off your mic you can turn off if you want to turn on you can turn on and be ready to access the meeting so once uh, you are ready with the video and the audio over here you can see uh, join now so in this uh, this is the button where you click to enter the meeting room so you are at the gate right now so you're going to enter the meeting room so once you're ready and your camera is set and everything is done click on join now so you will enter the meeting room so here you see this is your meeting link okay so the uh, this is the meeting link that you have to send it to everyone who wants to join the meeting so all you have to do is just click on copy joining info and send it to everyone through uh, whatever the messaging uh, medium you, you use to send and communicate with them and if you want to add people you can click on add people over here and type the email addresses and click ok so then you will add people from here itself then when you come to turn on caption if you click on that whatever you speak it will display in the screen over here so for those who can't understand what you are saying they can turn on this caption and read out what actually you are saying in this video if you want to turn off you can click on turn off caption so this caption will turn off over here when you see present now if you want to present your computer screen and show what exactly you are saying in the meeting you can click on this present now and see in this present there is two options one is your entire screen and the second one is your window so if in, in the entire screen option that what happens is 
the entire screen of your computer will display to the participants in this meeting. If, it's, uh, if you want to show a particular window, you have to click on this particular window and it will only show this uh, Firefox web browser uh, or, or else whatever the web browser that you're using, it will show only the web browser to the people uh, who are in these participants. And in, in this option, in these three dots, when you click on that, you can see change layout. If you click here, it is currently in the auto section, which means it will automatically play all these screens. And if you want tile view, you can just click on tile view and you can see whoever comes to the meeting, everyone in one screen, just like how it is shown in Zoom video conferencing software. So you can have everyone in tile view and uh, explain your presentation. Or else you can just click on sing, uh, sidebar view, that means only one video will be displayed very big and all other participants will be listed in the sidebar. So if you want to click and uh, see what they are doing, you can always go to a particular video in the sidebar and click on it so it will display on this big screen. And over here when you go and click on full screen, the entire the video will play in your computer's full screen without you see the task bar is over here, the option bar is over here and the address bar and everything is over here and the video is only in from here to here. So if you want to display the entire uh, video in the full screen, you just can click on full screen option and it will show in the full screen. And this is a turn on caption, the same option over here. So you can use it over here as well. And in the settings, I have some important things for you to tell. In this video option, you can see the camera, whatever the camera you're using over here is right here. And send resolution maximum. That means whatever the pictures are captured from your camera, to be sent to others should be uh, high definition or the lowest quality or the standard quality so you can just choose whichever the option you want to send to others and receive solution is because uh, it, it, it is like if you want to receive high, highest quality uh, definition you have to click on 720p high, high definition if you want to receive a standard definition it's okay and the standard definition 320 360p one video at a time means it will show only the the, the main image and the main video uh, quality first and the other videos will be in lowest quality so that you can save more internet data in your provider and also if you want to use audio only you can just click on audio only and whatever the uh, receiving video quality well, the video won't be there but the audio will be there so the why i'm saying this is like in this receiving uh, resolution uh, the if you receive highest definition then that means you you will uh, spend more in your um, internet broadband so if you let's say now you have only 10 GB for a month and uh, you you are using this video conferencing and let's say you, uh, you don't want to waste your GBs and uh, by attending only one call in a month and that's a problem for you so if you want to save that you can uh, just click on standard uh, definition so that it will use lower internet and also if you want only one video to be displayed in, in a good quality and others doesn't mind you can click on one video at a time and and if even if you don't want the video you just can click on audio and you can listen and uh, start uh, attend the meeting and definitely if you really need a highest definition you have to click on high, highest definition and then you can start working on it. So
So that's the option over here you can find which is a great thing in Google Meet. Then over here when you click on uh, this option you can see whoever is attending this meeting will be displayed right here. So if you want a particular person's uh, screen to be displayed bigger all you have to click on this person and you will find a pin icon so or just click on the pin icon so it will come to the big screen over here so if you don't find the pin uh, pin screen on this big window just click on this and you will notice over here as this video is actually pinned i mean this this user has been pinned and you will see his full view over here and if you don't want to pin his uh, view you can just again click on that so it will go off and over here when you come and you you can just type any messages over here and it will go to everyone who is attending this meeting so this is a really good feature uh, where you do not need to uh, uh, interrupt any video call uh, and if you want to ask anything you can just type in this uh, uh, chat window and everyone can check what's your uh, message and re respond to it hope you enjoyed this video and thank you very much for watching this video uh, please do like my video subscribe and uh, make sure to comment below if you have anything so then I will look into it and I will reply to you as soon as I can so until then, thank you.